Hello everybody, welcome back to programming in python.com. Here in this video, I am going to tell you how to print Titan of letter A. As you see, this is a post here and this is the example here, something like this here, uh, pattern A with stars. Uh, the program is also on the github I will just load it here this is the program and if I run it now I will ask to enter the size I will enter 8 you can see uh, at this letter A is printed with with this star patterns so this is the program I'm going to tell you now this is the actual program which is in github uh, so now let me do it again for you here as you see in the example here uh, we are uh, taking the size the 8 that means this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 this is 5 this is 6 7 and 8 so we need a minimum of 8 8 rows height so I'll prompt the user not to enter less than 8 so I'll put a condition here if num is less than 7 I mean if number is greater than 7 I will print the pattern here now else I'll ask to enter a size minimum of 8 so if the number is greater than 7 I will call a function that is will call the same itself print pattern and I will pass this number as argument to that function so it's already it's so it's already saying unresolved you can see unresolved uh, reference print pattern because we have called the function we have but we have not yet initialized the function or defined the function so let me define the function here if n here now this is the function which we are going to print the pattern if you see the pattern here I will run two loops uh, two loops one for the outer loop this is based upon the size given as I said earlier 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 like this until here and another one is the inner loop that counts this how many character how many uh, stars to be present in the first line in the second line and in the middle line so on so I'll have two loops one for the outer and one for the inner so so for I in range of n so this is the outer loop so for I in range of n and this is the outer loop and here in this loop I'll create another loop that is a J loop for J range that is n by 2 plus 1 that means we'll have so I'll float to find this value and add 1 to it that means if I give the range of n equal to 8 that means if I enter number 8 here that means 8 lower divided by 2 is 4 plus 1 pi so what will happen is until here if I give 8 in this example, uh, 8 floor divided by 2 is 4, 8 four floor divided by 2 is 4 and plus 1 is 5. So that means until 5, this is 0, this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4. So total 5, until 5 will go with this uh, uh, printing stars. That is the loop here, that is the inner loop for, for printing the stars and the uh, width of the letter. This J is for the width of the letter and we have taken the 5 as the width. There's a logic I have applied to calculate the width of the letter. So now I have to do two things here. One is to print stars and other is to print empty spaces. So we have to keep some conditions for printing stars and empty spaces. So let me write that first. I will write the conditions for printing stars and in remaining all cases it will be printing spaces. So there are three conditions here. This is one condition. This is first, uh, first and last. These are all comes under first and last case. 
that means the first and the last will be starts and here will be the in the first line it will be just opposite the first and last will empty and the remaining three will be starts and in the middle line all will be starts so there are three conditions here this is one condition this is one condition and this is the another condition so we will write these three conditions for printing starts first i write for this two column lines so for that i will write a condition like if j equal to equal to zero or j equal to equal to n by 2 so here j equal to 0 means the first and j equal to uh, uh, float divided by n by 2 that means the last as i said this is the first j equal to 0 this means this is the first j equal to 0 and j equal to n by 2 is the last so but we don't need them in the first line so and also we'll write a condition here n this should be or and here n we'll write i not equal to 0 i shouldn't be equal to 0 that means from the second line this is the i i is 0 this is the i equal to 0 so we should not keep starts in this line so we'll write a condition that i not equal to 0 that means it will come from this line so j equal to 0 is this part and j equal to floor uh, j equal to n by 2 is this part so we'll print starts in these two parts and not in this first line that is the condition here if j equal to equal to n by 2 and j not equal to and that i not equal to 0 and this is one condition and there are two more conditions here for printing this line and the middle line so that is one condition and and another condition is for the first line that is or if i equal to equal to 0 that is the first and and j should not be equal to 0 and j should not be equal to n float divided by 2 either that means here the three conditions are i equal to equal to 0 that means this line and j not equal to 0 that means this part they uh, this part should be a, a space and not a star and this is the condition and also the last part this should also be a space and not a star so that are these two conditions for I, j not equal to 0 and j not equal to n by 2 and this is for the first line and so this prints us the uh, first line and we are left with this uh, middle line so we'll uh, write a condition for that too and for that middle line it's pretty simple if i equal to equal to n floor divided by 2 then that comes the middle line so we can close the if here so these are three conditions for printing stars so actually we never need this if every time okay we have written this if here and we can close the if here so we have written the three conditions for printing stars so let me just print star here star and uh, let me tell you we have to print uh, end equal to this manually we have to give, declare this end by default uh, the print takes end as new line as we don't need a new line here i'm just specifying end as this empty and and in remaining cases that is in else we'll print empty space here also we need to specify and equal to empty and now and now after this uh, each statement so it executes for i in range that means for each line it will execute uh, after the after whole of this iteration it will print this line and in next iteration it will print this line and next iteration will print it will print this line so for that each iteration result should be in the next line so for that we'll print uh, we'll put one more print here so it will go to the next line we have to keep this after here so after this execution it should go to the next line for that we have we need to keep a print here this is the print here 
actually now that is it for this program let me format the code control shift alt l and so now let me run this run pattern a and this size 8 you can see this is the program and I'll run it again enter the size of less than 8 6 it says enter a size minimum of 8 so I will run again I will enter the size I will enter the size of 12 you can see a bigger a so that's it guys this saw will print the pattern that's pretty simple we just need to figure out in which areas we need to print stars and in which areas we need to give it empty spaces here for printing stars there are three conditions this middle line is one condition and this and for this first line we have some conditions and for all this there is similar condition so I have put three conditions for this this is for the two lines this is for the first line and this is for the middle line I have print stars and for mining all I will print spaces so that in result we have got this letter so that's it for the program I'm also plan to create all the alphabets from A to Z in the series so so stay tuned for those videos they are coming very soon so that's it for this video guys if, if you like this video please subscribe to the channel share it with your friends give it a like comment stay tuned for more videos from program again python.com see you in the next video bye bye Thank you for watching. Now it's time to discover more. Simply click on the screen to subscribe to our channel, watch another video, and visit our webpage.